so it is hot and humid. Woo! Tennessee can get a little nasty in the summer times with humidity. Um, I think the coolest it's going to get tonight is 70 degrees, so it's going to be toasty if I sleep with the van doors open. Um, but at least it's up off the ground. Not exactly bushcrafting, but you use the resources you have for the time that you have under the circumstances. So we got a two and a half hour drive. I'll see if I can think of anything uh, inspirational or uh, to talk about a little bit, talk to you a little bit. First time business owner, and I am still coming through COVID-19. I've seen things from a different angle. Let's just put it that way. I've seen a lot of fear, a lot of confusion. I, for once, have seen the social unrest and the timidity and the possibility of different scenarios that people talk about under situations of pandemics. A lot of separation, a lot of different opinions. And this is what I do know that we're called to do as people is to, um, to bridge the gap to do what's right. And um, I find myself now in a situation of just a lot of deep thought process of where are we going? What are we doing? And this is what I do know. This makes really good sense to me. Um, I do believe in hoping for the best. The glass can always be half full, but it doesn't mean you don't need to prepare. But when it comes to questions of what you should do personally, how you should think, um, I don't know. What's your situation? I can only tell you what I'm doing and what I think. One niche, not niche, but one concern, one area that I shine in that I will bring light to um, in the world of taking care of yourself and preparing for something um, if you need to bug out or bug in um, is food. And so there's a lot of situations that people are purchasing food that can last a long time. Um, I brought some dehydrated mixes with me tonight that are just that. I got dehydrated carrots, I got dehydrated green peas, and dehydrated onions, and uh, I'll cook them over campfire tonight in my, in my canteen and rehydrate those. I think it takes about five minutes, and uh, voila, healthy, nutritious food that is light. It lasts for many years. Freeze-dried will last a little longer than dehydrated. Um, if you buy dehydrated food, it would be smart to buy a vacuum sealer and repackage those to um, a vacuum seal. Um, so, hope for the best, prepare for the worst. If that means being prepared to stay in your home for a few weeks on end or a couple months, um, then you'll want to make sure that you have your provisions ready. Um, there are healthy options that you can purchase. And don't forget to enjoy life in the process. And when you're hoping for the best and preparing for the worst, always lead with love. Lead with love. When someone else doesn't, it doesn't mean that you can join them in their hate. Two wrongs make it worse. Truth will prevail, I promise you that. And uh, do what's right, seek the truth, lead with love, hope for the best, and prepare for the worst. That's what I got. So once again, uh, we're going to Foster Falls. It connects with the Fiery Gizzard, which is a great trail. Um, if you're in Nashville, the best hiking and views bang for your buck is on the Cumberland Plateau, um, Mont Eagle exit. So I'm on Interstate 24. I'm heading east from Nashville. I'm going to get off on the Mont Eagle exit. Foster Falls and the Fiery Gizzard connect 
via a trail that is 12, 12 point something miles, Foster Falls with Fiery Gizzard. So if you've done Fiery Gizzard and you get up to the top of that super steep hill, and you either got to go left to come back around to where your car is parked, or if you take a right, it goes over to Foster Falls. So great hike. Uh, best thing this side of the Smokies, in my opinion. I've heard Rock Island's really cool. I've not been there, but if you're looking to get out and get a little exercise, get away from people, um, Rock Island's really popular. It's kind of pretty with really short hikes. It might be your thing, um, but uh, I kind of want to be have the option to hike eight miles uh, if I want to, and I don't think you can do that at uh, Rock uh, Island. But all right, we're at exit 103 now. I'll turn the camera around when we take the exit. Bye. Mont Eagle. Sewanee exit 134. So change of plans. There wasn't any campsites by Foster, so we'll go hike that in the morning. But I am looking for a new place. The uh, state center just uh, gave me the flyer for. Uh, so I'll see what I find. So this is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. On the back of this uh, campground, new campground that opened up, Bigfoot Adventures. Um, they got some zip lines on the on one side, and then uh, we got this bunch of tank sites over here. I'll turn around and show you what I am camping in this week. Roughing it. There she rolls. That's my ride. That's my that's my tent this weekend. There's my girl. What's up, Katan? What are you doing, boo? What are you doing? Your legs are so long. You look like a freaking horse. Yes, you do. You better stay right here. You're staying with me. I'm not big on doing nothing, unless it's sitting outside. I can sit outside and just be quiet and just enjoy. I can get away. I cannot unwind in a house. I can sleep. I can sleep. I can have a hard day at work. I can go have a hard workout. I can go have a whatever, and I can go home and sleep. But I despise the couch. I don't despise the couch. <laughs> I just, uh, it doesn't feel good. It's just always second best sitting out here just doing nothing. Only place I can do nothing is outside. So, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. It's kind of misty. I'll turn it around. Kind of misty. <laughs> and there's Katahdin. Trying to figure out if I want to Get out and make a campfire. Hi, boo. What you doing? You coming up? Are you coming up here? Hmm? Coming up. Here she comes. <laughs> We're just a couple of wild and crazy girls. I have my hand over the camera. What you think, boo? What you think? <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> So, I'm going to sit around and do nothing for a little bit longer and figure out if I want to do something. Um, a nap is something. I stretch out my sleeping bag and my pad and take a nap. I'll let you know. She's just staring at the rain. I don't think about going out there, but maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Got a full belly, maybe I'll take a nap. Yeah, nap sounds good. I'm not gonna lie, pretty disappointed. Everything's wet. It's not pouring. You can hear that? It's a lovely view. <laughs> Here's my boo. Here's my boo. I'm uh I'm actually really disappointed. I uh 
got a, I get a fire going. Bought dry firewood. I have an axe. I have a knife. Um, I split kindling. I, I did almost everything. Um, but I can't get it going. They gave me a, a fire starter log and it's wet. Like a Dura flame deal. It wouldn't light at all. Um, but I'm not blaming anybody else. Just blaming myself. I've never been good at fires and first time I went out by myself since I feel like I have the skills actually to make a fire now and I can't make one. It's raining hard now or harder but it wasn't raining very hard before um, so I really feel like I should have been able to even if it was struggling at the moment with the rain. Anyway I feel like Conrad could have made one and uh and I'm not trying to compare myself with my husband that's wild. but uh I thought I could get one going and um I'm disappointed, and I was so sure that I could get one going that I don't have any food, so I will be eating uh, dehydrated food, still dehydrated. <laughs> Let's know that is. So, Guitar and Likes Dehydrated Peas from Harmony House. <laughs> Can you see me? Oh, yeah. I couldn't get fire going. So, I have to eat dehydrated peas, dehydrate them, it could be worse, I at least have food and sustenance, can you see this, this is from Harmony House, um, I will find a uh, way to get a link that you guys can order this through the uh, channel here. A uh, very good. Not even in seasoning. Oh my goodness, the dog loves it. You gotta save some for breakfast, boo. I better not give her any more in the event that green peas do something to a dog's digestive system. So, I'm not going to settle in here for the night. It's icky outside. I'm disappointed. But I'm still enjoying the peace and quiet. Let's get this choker color off you. I'm going to probably say goodnight for now. I really want to go see Foster Falls in the morning. So that is going to be a goal of mine. Really quick, before I let you go, let's see what dehydrated green beans taste like. Hold on, act like you hadn't eaten, putting on five pounds a week. It's not like you haven't eaten food there, youngin. If I can get them open. Okay, here we go. Oh, those are even softer. I wouldn't even need to rehydrate these. If I was um, in an emergency situation, I could just eat these. Wow. I can't believe that. I thought it was going to taste like garbage. Huh. That's pretty good, huh? Interestingly good. How about that? Last one. Well, I might have to eat all those green beans tonight. White onions. I don't even have onions, boo. Sorry. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. Dehydrated white onions. No, you can't have those three. I'm sorry. Ha. Huh. Woo. Ha. Ah. That got kicked to it. All right, folks. Hopefully, we'll see you in the morning. Even if it's raining, I might go out and get soaked. I don't even freaking care at this point. I want to show you Foster Falls, uh, even if we don't get to the gorge. Uh, God bless. Uh, get a good night's sleep. I know we're going to probably be kind of cozy in the van here. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye. This is a great example that sometimes things are, you know, go in different directions. You're all excited, you head out, think it's, ah, going to be a great trip, and it doesn't end up being a good trip. Um, or the opposite. So it's always nice when the opposite happens. But, uh, yeah, always got to be ready to kind of, with your attitude, if nothing else, I'm disappointed I didn't get a fire. Um, and I wasn't ready. I didn't bring other food. So thank God.
the new food that I had purchased from Harmony House, the dehydrated food, was actually quite edible. So, looking forward to trying it uh, hydrated, but it's actually really good. So, talk to you soon. Morning. It's three in the morning. I'm waiting for a good time to pee. It's a little dark out there still. I think I need a couple more hours of sleep. Finally quit raining. Get tired. And... Come on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Next time I'll practice what I preach and use the resources available to me. One thing about resources, though, is uh, you don't know to use something if you don't believe that they work. So, I thought they were expensive and I didn't want to use them for some stupid reason and I had a lighter. So, why not just use a lighter? Well, there's a reason. Because the Stormproof puts out this really hot heat that's intense for several seconds. So, sometimes that's all you need to uh, kick off a spark and some heat to take you over the edge to get the fire going. So... Uh, if you have stormproof matches, they actually work. Um, this is a new one. Just opened up last year. I stayed last night because Foster was full um, where I couldn't get the campfire going because it rained all night. And it was nasty and I'm an idiot. Um, and I didn't have my husband. Hmm. Uh, it's called Bigfoot Adventures. And it's got zip lining and stuff like that. So for some of you people that don't know how you feel about just camping in the middle of nowhere. You want to have a little fun? Check out Bigfoot Adventures on Mont Eagle Exit in Tracy City. Well, there you have it. Well, we're not coming this far and going totally empty-handed. Uh, pros of the trip. There's no ticks. Um, it was not as nasty hot as I thought it was going to be last night. My sleeping bag's pretty warm, so uh, I was kind of half in, half out. But it got down to 67 degrees, uh, which is cool enough to sleep good. And, um, it, because the van, as wet as it was, it didn't get wet inside. So I was happy about that. Um, but I'm dumb dumb. It's not raining now. You can hear the falls. Man, sleeping there on a rainstorm. Nicely. They put all these steps in here since I've been up here, which is kind of, Interesting, because wood is often slippier than rocks. So, okay, we can hear the fall. So again, let me concentrate so she doesn't pull me over. Go, come on. Let's see. It's like I'm on the Appalachian Trail. Got the white uh, things up there. Up this way, you got it. You got it, come on. Good girl, go, go. Jeez, Lord. Come on. Good girl. Now I'm gonna turn around, I'm so sorry. She was gonna spin me around. I hear him. Look it down there. Everything's uh, growing up pretty good right now. Come on, girl. Oh, oh! Did you hear that? She about slipped and fell. Good girl. It's really stupid of me. It's not wearing my hiking shoes when it had been raining and it is muddy. So we're going right down there. You can see the falls through there. I'll see you when we get there. She is doing so good. Come on, Boo. Go see the water. That's a lot prettier when it's all sunshiny. But I tell you what is really cool is that we got it to ourselves. I guess at 7 o'clock in the morning on a rainy day, people don't want to be out of the water. Go figure. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my goodness, I'm so grateful I came. Oh wow, look at that. It's a lot of good rock climbing around here. The trail follows, I just came down. The trail follows around that way and goes up to the top of the plateau. It comes across the top of the plateau up there. When you walk up a fiery desert, it goes up there, so it's pretty cool. This is the swimming hole at Foster Falls. Gotta love it. Victory! What do you think, Boo? What do you think? What do you think? Woohoo! Trying to get a picture of Katahdin because she's doing so good. Good girl, you got it. Good girl. Come on. Up is always easier than down. Even though it doesn't sound that way. No one ever falls up. <sighs> Might feel easier. Good job, Katahdin. Might feel easier down on your muscles. Rock and roll. We are out of here. Whew. I thought we were going to have to have a Foster Falls part one and part two after a, another real good night. And I like a fright, so... Hate it for you. Hate it for me. <laughs> but, uh, is what it is. <sighs> nasty. It's nasty. <sighs> Kelsey Rose, if you watch this. I'm so nasty. I'm fasty. She's probably cracking up. Uh, so. We're out of here. On our way back to Nashville. All that air conditioning feels good. It is so nasty, wet, and humid. I feel like I'm in the, uh, jungle. Good morning. What would it charge? What would you charge me for a bowl of oatmeal and a dozen scrambled eggs? She's going what? It's twenty one ninety three, honey. Want some scrambled eggs, boo? This is hilarious. Uh, this is way more than a dozen. I have two platters. <laughs> two platters of eggs. Oh my goodness, this big. Uh, can you even see it? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, I'm going to feed Katahdin breakfast. This is hilarious. Catch y'all. This is the last thing I'm going to say because it's kind of really on my heart. Uh, how I'll fit it into the video or, um, or edit it in, I don't know. But, so, I learned a valuable lesson. I have always um, enjoyed the outdoors for exercise. And uh, y'all know that Connor and I are wanting to help people have more survival skills. Well, the truth is, Conrad's had all the survival skills. So, I had a lighter. I had stormproof matches, but I hadn't used them before. And I don't know why I didn't uh, register. But, um, and they gave me a little fire starter log and I had dry wood. So I thought there's no way I can't start a fire. Well, when I tried once and realized, okay, it's gonna be a little harder than it uh, um, is seeming, I tried again. So when I took my knife and my ax and I started uh, trying to make kindling, anything I've ever done in life, uh, sprinting as a USATF sprinter, setting a world record on the Appalachian Trail, just being an athlete and different things I've succeeded, bodybuilding, I do it with 120%. It's rawr, everything in me just goes because I'm comfortable. I know what I'm doing and I know what it takes. Well, when you pussyfoot around with something like I did last night with the knife and the axe, when you've got a, a little Gerber axe and a three inch log that you've got to 
drive the end of that axe into the log to make it split, you can't go pink, which is what I was doing. I didn't want to cut my finger off. Well, I had to find a way to where I could stable something to where I got my strength and more gusto in it than I did. I did not, as I'm driving away this morning, feeling a little disappointed, uh, always relying on Conrad and failing without Conrad, uh, needing him there last night. Um, and I didn't make the adjustment last night. So as I'm driving home this morning, I realized that you didn't do it the way you do things that you do succeed at. My mindset wasn't right. I chose to eat dehydrated food that was supposed to be rehydrated, dehydrated. Uh, I knew I wasn't far, I wasn't gonna, you know, die. Um, but I could never make a mind switch. So, again, um, a real valuable lesson for me, if I want to succeed at something, anything, everything takes, there's no room, everything takes a fire and a passion. There's no room for timidity to achieve success. Now, timidity is different than humility, wisdom, quiet. There's always room for those things at certain times, but there's no room for timidity when it comes to success. They don't go together. And I failed last night. I was timid with a chore I had to uh, accomplish, and uh, I was disappointed. Thank God it wasn't a life or death situation. Hopefully I would have uh, realized it and changed my mind. But for someone that knows how to go after something to get it done, I would have thought that I would have done better than I did. So that's it. That's all I got. Um, it's raining hard. I'm glad I'm on the road headed home. Um, Till next time, love y'all.